Well, let me tell you something, Nick. God damn it. Apparently, that's contagious. So the big news doing its rounds, not just in wrestling circles, but even in mainstream circles, is that Hulk Hogan, the man responsible for bringing professional wrestling to the mainstream in the 1980s, has been found, has been heard, in taped audio from eight years ago, referring to his daughter's then boyfriend as a nigger several times. Following this news, WWE scrubbed every mention of him from their website. TNA Wrestling followed suit. When two companies that you have worked for have tried distancing themselves from you in this manner, in WWE's case the last time they did something to this extent was when Chris Benoit killed his family. You've done fucked up something bad, man. See, now a lot of people are making counter arguments about this. This isn't the first incidence of someone being a racist in professional wrestling, and it certainly won't be the last. Michael P.S. Hayes once dropped the N-bomb in front of Mark Henry and all he got was a suspension. He's still earning fat stacks of cash from WWE. He's still under their employ to this day. So is the social media manager that once pissed Alberto Del Rio off with a racial slur to the point Alberto slapped him and lost his job. Now, I feel that these two guys, Michael Hayes and the social media manager, should have been fired, yes. But the thing people need to understand is the magnitude of what Hulk Hogan's done. See, very few people in the mainstream know who Michael Hayes is. Nobody knows or gives a fuck about who the social media manager is. He's just some faceless mook running a couple of social media outlets under the name of the WWE. This is Hulk Hogan. This is the man who, to a lot of people, is wrestling. If you go up to anybody and ask them to name you one professional wrestler, they'll more than likely name the Orange Hobgoblin himself. If this were anyone else, all that would happen is they'd get a slap on the wrist at best, and an apology from WWE, and a suspension at worst. But this is Hulk fucking Hogan, man. This is the guy that made the WWE a shit ton of money in the 80s and made WCW a shit ton of money in the 90s. The guy pretty much is professional wrestling. The man is as close to professional wrestling royalty as it gets. And his actions are inexcusable. And because he's Hulk Hogan, he cops it worse than anybody else. And if you're asking why, it's because people will always look for a chain in which to blame people for this shit. And because people know of the WWE as the place where Hulk Hogan made his name, some people still don't know it changed its name and still think it's the WWF, but they still connect Hulk Hogan to that company. And so WWE, as quick as they could, erased his legacy, distanced themselves from the Hobgoblin, fired his ass from his Legends contract and are looking at replacing him with Ric Flair as their main company ambassador. And when you're replacing someone with a well-known alcoholic with a lot of public behavioral problems as the face of your company's Legends program, well, son, you fucked. You fucked up. Badly. So do I agree with it? Not entirely. I do to an extent, and I can see why WWE did it. And it's a smart move on their part. Is it 100% effective? Probably not. But it's the best damage control they could do, given the situation. Especially with racial tensions being what they are in America at the moment. The only way that you don't know what the hell these tensions are in America is if you've been living under a rock or kicking it in an Amish community for about the last fucking eight months. Things are unsettled as in America, man. It's a very, very volatile situation. And this type of shit ain't gonna help any. But then you get some wrestling fans saying that, well, Vince McMahon's a hypocrite because Vince McMahon once used the same N-bomb on pay-per-view in front of a black wrestler. Come on, guys. That shit was a skit. Maybe it's not the most tactful, tasteful thing Vince McMahon could have done at the time, but that wasn't Vince McMahon the person calling someone a nigger. That was Vince McMahon, the TV character, playing the uncool, 
out of touch old man trying to impress John Cena who at the time was a badass street thug by trying to use street vernacular. Which was then punctuated by Booker T standing there with his wife looking agog and disgusted. That was the punchline. This is Hulk Hogan straight up being a fucking racist. There have been a lot of unsavory stories about Hulk Hogan come out in the last few years. Hell, not even in the last few years. Hulk Hogan's lack of willingness to put over other people and allow other people to look good is at his expense backstage is fucking legendary among wrestling fans. But in spite of all the tales of Hulk Hogan being a major ass master backstage, in spite of stuff like that time his idiot son crashed his car and put one of his friends in a wheelchair, and then more audio was leaked of Hulk Hogan being an asshole on that, that didn't damage his legacy. Hulk Hogan's sex tape, ew, didn't damage his legacy, and the poorly thought abortion that his Hogan knows best didn't damage his legacy. This, on the other hand, could very well be the thing that permanently damages Hulk Hogan's legacy. This may or may not be something Hulk Hogan can come back from. If he does, I'll be surprised. But things are not looking good for Hogan because, as I say, the last time WWE did this type of shit was with Chris Benoit. Sure, you can't really compare the two, but the type of damage control is pretty much the same damn thing. Yes, it's a private conversation, and yes, it happened eight years ago. But the fact of the matter is, the conversation shouldn't have happened at all. Hulk Hogan should know better than to be throwing around racial slurs like this. Anybody, in any industry, would be punished for this type of shit. And Hulk Hogan's human like the rest of us, and he reaps what he sows. Did WWE go to an extreme trying to scrub Hulk Hogan's legacy? Maybe, but I understand why they did it. Hulk Hogan fucked up. And now Hulk Hogan has to answer the consequences for his actions. It's as simple as that. I'm Damien Skyfire. Till next time.